hello everyone welcome back to get your tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix ready or not is crashing it is not launching freezing black screen low fps stuttering stuck on loaded screen and how we can fix this app so let's dive into it so if you are for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos so let me directly get into this so the first step is all about you have to restart your pc for that you just have to go over here in the start icon now go over here this icon and go for restart after successfully restarting you have to check whether you are able to fix the issue or not next step if if you try this if it's not working then we just have to move to a couple of steps so one among them which is the next step is all about you have to allow the game to window security for that you just have to go over here in the search search for control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app or feature through defenders firewall now from here you have to check whether ready or not is already added so if it is not added you don't have to worry we can add it manually so first thing is we have to check as you can see the ready or not is being added make sure that both these things that is private and public both these things should be checked once it is done just go for allow another app now go for browse now from here you have to go to this pc this is where the game is installed so click on local disk now from here go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps select common now go to ready or not now from here we have to select the application have to select the application folder and you have to install it okay this is what it does so you have to add it once it is added as you can see it is already added so uh, you know i'll be getting an error like this it's already added if you if you wanted to add just add like this once it is done you have to make sure that both these things should be checked that is private and public should be checked once it is done you just have to move to next one next one is all about you have to install graphics card manually for that i'll be providing link in the description that will take you to official nvidia as well as for the amd so here i have provided the link which i'll be giving in the description just click on the particular link and over here we have to make few changes as you can see the product type you have to select which one is yours mine is geoforce and if it is yours is titan select the respective one so i'll keep to geoforce and my product series is geoforce rtx 40 series so i selected this one and if you are on the product type this one rtx 4090 we are having two options mine is 4090 one stand select the operating system so in my case as you can see i'm using windows 11 so i have to select this go for uh, language go for everything and go for start search when you go for start search you will be getting the latest version over here so if you scroll down you can see the downloaded version is 527.56 which is released on 8th december 2022 this is the latest version just download this latest version after that you have to install this simultaneously you have to do the same procedure for the amd as well so here you have to select the graphics select the respective model from here select everything once it is done you just have to go to submit and after going to submit you will be getting options like this from here you have to select if you're on windows 11 you have to select this one download the adrenaline version if you're on windows 10 you have to download this adrenaline version download and install this after installing successfully restart your pc then go back to steam once again and try to launch the game and this is going to work for you as well moving to the next one is all about you have to install Micros, uh, you know, you have to install Visual C++. This is very important. The previously mentioned step, I mean, upgrading uh, the graphics card manually as well as installing Microsoft Visual C++ has worked for many of the users. So should not be neglecting this. So next one is all about, you have to go over here. Now, as you can see, when you go to this link, you'll be getting these like options. So x64 and x86, these are the both uh, cases when most people happens. So if you don't know which one is yours, you can uh, know that. Just go over here in the search. Now go to settings. From here, you have to select system. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to about. 
when you go about you will be getting all the details like uh, your 64 bit operating system what is your ram etc so we need we need to know which is the system type so here as you can see my particular laptop which i am using right now is 64 bit so i have to download x64 if it is x86 i have to download the respective one so i have to go to over here and download this particular one that is visual c++ studio after installing the .exe, try to restart your PC, then go back to the Steam and try to play the game and it will be working good. If it's not working, do not worry, we have following step. Next one is all about, you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, you just have to go over here, search for graphics settings. Now open this. Now from here, as you can see, these are the available games. It is already added here. So we have to add the ready or not manually. For that, just click on browse. Now from here you have to go to this PC where the game is installed. So as you can see this is the uh, local disk. So now I have to open local disk C. Now from here I have to go to program file x86. Scroll down and navigate to steam folder. Now I have to scroll down once again and navigate to steam apps. I have to go to common. Now from here go to ready or not and I have to select this add it. Once it is added you will be able to see ready or not over here. So once the ready or not is already added, you just have to do this. You just have to click on this and click on option. Now from here, as you can see, by graphic preferences will be let windows decide by default. You have to change this one to high performance. Okay, this is by default. This will be let windows decide. Change this to high performance and go for save. Once you're done with this, just go back to the steam. Try to play the game and probably this is going to work as well. Moving to the next one, if it's not working, the next is all about you have to run the game as an administrator for that you just have to go to steam we, have, we, we can navigate we can go to uh, the installation folder by going to file explorer but i'll show you with us so you just have to select the game right click and go to properties now from here go to local file click on browse so this is an easiest step which will read very easily redirect to where the game is installed as you can see this pc local disc c program file 86 steam steam apps common ready or not from here you have to select the game now you have to right click and go to show more options and go to properties now go to compatibility now as you can see you have to check this that is run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok after this close everything then try to play the game if it's there is one more step which you have to try with the same you can launch the game right now if i am trying to launch the game i'm launching it from steam so you can launch the game from the installation folder. This has worked for many uses. For that, just right click over here, go to properties, simultaneously go to local file, click on browse. Now from here, launch the game from here. Not on Steam, launch the game from the installation folder. This as well worked for many of the users as well and this helped many users so you can try this also. Moving to the next one is all about, the next step is all about, you have to disable Steam overlay and delete overclocking, I mean disable overclocking application. For disabling the steam overlay right click on the game go to properties now from here you just have to under general as you can see enable the steam overlay while in game is disabled so you have to uncheck this box so that means it is disabled it is very important step regarding the overclocking applications the main applications are discord antiviruses gaming services geoforce etc many things are there i will be showing you that just go to the start right click and go to task manager now from here, it is very widely visible that as you can see, it is very visible. I am using few things like Google Chrome, which I am here. I am opened it. I am using screen recorder, Steam and Taskman. This is what I am using. But apart from that, if you scroll down, you will be able to see there are 91 things which is running in my background, which means they are using my uh, RAM, which is draining out my performance. So you have to end it everyone. As you can see, there is an option end the task. Do it for everything. When you do it for each one by one, you can see the number is getting reduced. Do it for each one. And the main important factors which is affecting is Discord. As you can see, Discord is an important factor which is uh, running in the background. As you can see, the gaming services. And even if you go for many other things, LG Hub, etc. Many things are draining out my performance. So here, it is not affecting me. The reason is because I am having 32 GB of RAM. That is why it is not affecting me much. 
But imagine for a user who is trying to play the game ready or not with a 2 GB RAM or 4 GB RAM, they will be definitely having the nightmare. So end the task, everything. You have to do it manually, which is going to take a little bit of time, but it really worth in the end. So do this. Once it is done, just uh, try to launch the game and you can see the differences. If it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to perform a clean boot. For that, just go over here, search for system configuration. Now from here, go to services and here there is an option called disable all, disable everything, go to hide, uh, hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. And here you comes a question like the system configuration. So you have to exit without a restart, not you. I am doing it exit without a restart because I am in the middle of video. But you guys can do like you can restart it. There is no issue. You can do this. So I'll exit without a restart. Restart is very mandatory, should not be doing any mistake. You have to restart. But in my case, as I'm in the middle of video and I'm recording, I'm not doing the same. You can do this. It is very important as well. Moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file. For that, you just have to go to Steam. You have to right click. Now go to properties. Over here, go to local file. Click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm not doing this. For you, it is going to take time. So it is around 991.26 GB. So just do the same because this particular step is going to fix a lot of issue like you know uh, if any files are corrupted if any files are missed all these kind of issues are fixed by this particular end and this is working for sure you can try this moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows to the latest version many users have this issue so just go to settings now from here or go to windows update and from here as you can see you will be getting uh, some pending restart as well as this but uh, not like this you'll be getting update option just updated here uh, i very recently made a few changes that's why i'm getting this option you have to update it to the latest version and even if you're asking any restart option just do the same and once it is done try to play the game and that is going to work because uh, ready or not is around 91 gb which is a high graphics game so windows should be up to date or else we'll be having the trouble in between so it is very important step as well Moving to the next one is all about you have to give few commands in the launch option that is you just have to go to the game right click and go to properties over here it is very visible launch option under here you have to give commands that is minus dx 11 you can try with this then try to play the game if it's not working changes to minus dx 12 then try to launch the game and most probably any one of these will be working if it's not none of these things working just keep by default like this keep it clean then try to play the game Moving to the last and the least one is all about you have to uh, increase virtual memory that is quite important step so I'll be showing you that just go over here in the search and search for view advanced system setting now from here you have to click on advanced click on settings once again go to advanced now go for change and here as you can see it is very uh, important step should not be doing any mistake here you can't uncheck this okay this should be sorry this should be unchecked you should not be checking this unchecked because you have to select the driver where the game is installed so here in my case as you know that i am only having local disk c so that is why i am selecting this if the game is installed on local disk d then i should have selected d but in my case it is on c i don't know how it is going to be in your case if it is c uh, if your game is installed on d e f etc you have to select the same so make sure this is unchecked this is uh, unchecked and select the uh, respective folder local disk where the game is installed now you just have to click on custom size here we have to give the value for initial size maximum size so initial size is always 1.5 times the total ram and maximum size is always three times the total ram so it is very visible from the uh, i knew what is my ram so even if you don't know i'll be show you how to know that just go to settings now from here go to system scroll down and navigate to about from here my ram is 32 gb this should not be the same because here might be different so do the calculations accordingly so here it is 32 gb so what i have to do is just have to go in the search now i have to go for calculator because i wanted to do few calculations so like i said i have to give the in uh, i have to uh, the value for initial size so first thing i have to convert this into mb that is 32 into 1024 okay now i have to multiply it with 1.5 
so that is 49,152. Uh, First, I did the conversion, then I multiply it with, it with 1.5. That is the initial size. I have to give the value. Simultaneously, I have to do the same for maximum size. That is 32 GB, which is my RAM. I have to do the conversion. That is 1024. That is around 32,768. Now, I have to multiply it with 3. That is 98,304. So, I have to copy this. I have to paste it. So, after this, eject everything. And once you are done with this, Restart your PC, then try to play the game, and this is going to work. Last and the least one, this has worked out for many of the users, and I have seen it in the Reddit and even Quora. Many people suggested you just have to uninstall the game and reinstall it back. So, uh, when you are uninstalling the game from here, I will be showing you a thing. So, just go to manage and uninstall the game. But the question is here, as you can see, I am on local disk C, I'm only having one drive. So when I'm uninstalling the game and when I'm reinstalling it back, it should not be on the same drive. It should be in any other any other drive. So it should not be on C. You can install it on D, E, F, X, etc., F, etc. And if you're having only drive, don't try with uninstalling and reinstalling because it's not going to work. But if you're having multiple drive, local disk, you can uh, try with this one. I mean install uninstall from C and install back in any other drive and this is going to work. So these are the possible workarounds which you have to try when ready or not is not going to work or crashing issue, not launching, freezing, black screen, low FPS drop, stuttering, uh, stuck on loading screen and how you can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye bye.